Driving to Cradock from Port Elizabeth takes one through a variety of interesting landscapes. This 200 km trip takes about two hours and you get a sense of travelling into a region rich in history. Arriving on the outskirts of Craydock, you can sense that this town has an extraordinary role in the struggle. Looking up to your left, you see a monument on the hill. This is the monument to the Craydock 4 erected in 2009. Matthew Goniwe, Fort Talata, Sparum Kondo, and Sikrelum Shaul. Matthew Goniwe was, together with Fort, were teachers here at Sam Kali. Matthew was the first uh, leader or president or of the Cradock Residents Association. They wanted, the system wanted to transfer Matthew to Graf Reinet because they wanted to take him away from this area because they saw, I mean, how he mobilized people behind Kradora. Then Matthew refused. And because of that, Matthew was was, was fired as a teacher. And then that's where the school boycott started early in 1984. They addressed the rally, uh, the Freedom Charter rally, uh, on the 26th of June, the birthday of Freedom Charter in 1985 at Lingelisle Community Hall. And that was their last gathering in Cretton that they addressed because on the 27th of June, they had to attend the meeting in, 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 in PE, the UDF meeting. They were supposed to come back the same day, but they didn't. Uh, Comrade Derek Swartz was the secretary of the UDF in this region then. So he was the last person to see them because they left his house uh, at around 10 past 9. But unfortunately, they did not come back to Credo. Herald, the, the newspaper here, uh, reported that Matthew's car has been found uh, bent down next to Blue Water Bay. There was no sign of all of them. There were many unanswered questions relating to the murder of the Cradock Four, which only came to light during the TRC hearings in the 1990s. Cradock Four were those people who were making Cradock to be problematic. That is why they decided to eliminate them, thinking that by eliminating them, I mean everything in Cradock will come to a standstill and then people will, will fall back and that they, they were mistaken. And to, 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 to prove that, the same day that they were buried on the 20th of July in 1985, uh, the state of emergency was declared. <laughs> 